It's after 9 p.m. Do you know where your kids are? Hello everyone and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf. Welcome Amiibo. Letter from Sky. The day I went on a journey of self-discovery. In the end, I didn't discover anything. However, I came across the perfect gift for you. I hope you like it. Still searching. That's a mood. So what is the perfect gift for me? I mean, she already gave us candy. Um... A milk case. You tell me I need to drink more milk? I drink plenty of milk. Like, once or twice a year when I actually have a bowl of cereal. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna put the, uh, the candy in the, the... I already milk case away. I am not 100% with it tonight, I'm going to be completely honest. Um, had, a bit of, had a bit of a concerning moment. Where is my umbrella? Right, it's in a letter. <laughs> I need to empty out our letters too. <laughs> so I'll do that really quick. Um, it was actually not that long ago either. Um... I was upstairs, basically about to get some food, and just suddenly felt like I was about to pass out. I didn't, but I definitely had to have a bit of a sit down. Don't know what that was, but I'm fine now, so... I don't know. <laughs> Most people would probably be like, oh my god, I have to... It's like, nah. Nah, I'm, I'm fine. Now, if I was still feeling like... I was gonna pass out, then yeah, sure, I might might consider getting looked at like tomorrow. But <laughs> I'm in I do not feel like I am in any danger, so weed. These weeds are in danger though. Now let's just see if we can find all four fossils today, because we couldn't yesterday. Hello, Fuchsia. Oh, it's Pookie. Burning the candle on both ends, eh, sister? So what's up? It's Doc. Man, Mott and Gabby get along really well, don't they? Do they, like, always talk about interesting stuff? Or do they only keep their conversations light? Or maybe they're dreaming up some secret plot together. Ah, they might be. What sea life are you going to want me to get you to... to... to tell you this? So that seems to be the thing with, <laughs> with Fuchsia. <laughs> and yeah, I'd, I, I could not help but make that reference at the very beginning. Because it's just, I mean, it's technically not even appropriate. It's 10 p.m. that that would play, but 9 p.m. is still appropriate. How did I... Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Gem rock. I uh, slightly messed it up. Or I didn't. Okay. I have no idea what any of these are. I mean, I saw some gold. But... I cannot tell gems apart at night. I struggle to do it through the day. So we got a bunch of rubies, an amethyst, a silver nugget, a gold nugget. Get the sapphire over here. It looks like we'll have to make a stop off at retail before we even get terribly far. <laughs> it's always mildly amusing to me that that commercial campaign was a thing. Hello, Jeremiah. Oh, it's Dr. S. Sorry, it's so dark. Couldn't see a thing. So anyway, what's up? It's the latest. Not to be a big old gossip, but I heard that Brofina has really ticklish feet. Heh heh heh. Totally gonna use that to my advantage next time I want something from her. That is rude. 
Be nice, Jeremiah, or else I will get the net. <laughs> I should actually be heading towards retail, but we have room for two fossils, so... Watch, I'll find... All of them. And the gem rock. But, like, I always found that kind of amusing. Because it's a commercial campaign done by the same generation that now complains that people don't go outside and don't do anything, yet they're the ones that demanded that, you know, their kids stay home and don't do the things they did. Say, like, hmm. Like, I, I've gotten the, the tales many a time of, ooh, Leg. Loaded something. No idea what it loaded, but it loaded something. Was probably from whoever it was shaking the tree. D Hello, Jeremiah. We, we just talked, but... Don't forget, but I'm planning on moving up. But why? Done everything there is to do in Sapphire. I'm itching to see a new place. I mean, that's fair. Take care, my man. Oh, well, thanks for everything. It's nice knowing you. Just remember one thing. Town without me is like a feast without sauerkraut. Sad and hungry, Squeak. I know, then why are you leaving? Okay, he definitely doesn't seem like he actually wants to move. I think he's playing with our emotions, and we're gonna have to keep an eye on him. What do you think, Gabby? Because that's what I definitely think. What a lovely night, Fruit Bun. So what's up? It's the latest. One of the things I love the most about good old Sapphire are apple trees. Mind getting me an apple? Sure, no problem. I think there's one on the ground, like, not far from here. If I don't water these now, I'm not going to remember. But like, yeah, I've, I've heard many a tale of like, what my, my parents would get up to, and it's like, okay, but you literally set rules that prevented any of, you know, us kids from doing that. And then complained when we spent most of our time with technology. Ooh, this might have been what loaded. Hello there. Are you a native of this little town? Yeah, I am. Of course you are. And, have, and you have perfect timing to boot. I happen to be the creative force behind a certain ultra-fashionable fashion brand. Your precious town is begging me to open a shop here, so I wanted to see this place with my own eyes. I'll only bring my brand here if the citizens are sufficiently style-savvy. You interested in fashion, darling? I am. Of course you are, and with that in mind, you could surely use one of my patented fashion evaluations. I hope you're up to the task. Okay, here's how it works. I give you a super stylish theme, and you get until the end of the day to get yourself styled up in an outfit to match that theme. Of course, I expect to see you coordinate shoes and accessories to go along with your getup. Now, what should your theme be? Absolutely ornate. Oh no, I don't think I can do that. Um, I'm pretty sure the website I use for Crazy Reds also has... Gracie's fashion check. It does. Um, yeah, I don't think I have much from this. Oh no. <laughs> we need to pass this multiple times. Shouldn't be too hard for a true stylista like yourself. Just create an outfit based on the theme. Don't forget your deadline. End of the day. I'll be gone tomorrow. You see. Ciao, darling. Ah, uh, and the Able Sisters are closed. 
I'm gonna have to look through our stuff. I don't think I have literally anything that would work. Reese, help me, please. Lend a brother some clothes. <laughs> it's for the good of the town, honest. Is there any clothes in here? There is. This definitely is not something I need. Yeah, I do not need a soccer tee. Um... But... Um... I might have some of these things. Okay, well, Gabby's apple comes first. Because, I mean, she's not going to get mad at us for not having good style. Um, I wish I'd been buying more random clothes. Still rocking the night, I see. You want to talk about it? You want to eat this? It's been on the ground for like a week. But here's your apple. Here's, here's your apple. My tummy's already growling for it, Pookie. Beware worms. Flavor is beyond flavorful. Wait, I don't have to thank you for that. Yeah, how about a floral wall? I would have loved a coral tank. <laughs> um. Hmm. Uh. Okay, no one at the campsite. Weed. Hey, here's the gem rock. We got this going for us. And hey, I think it's one we could sell. Maybe. It might have been... Okay, no, that was a ruby. I was going to say that might have been a sapphire. I honestly don't know. But I mean, we could sell sapphires. It's... it's just me not wanting to sell sapphires. Okay. Um... Time to sort through my clothes, I guess, and see if I have literally anything that might work. I don't think I do. I'm going to start with our dresser, because there's less in here. There might actually be more in here, I don't know. Um, there's only one pink dress, and it's not the polka dress. Um, pretty sure the spring shirt is not here. No. Oh, no. <laughs> um, yeah, neither of those. Does that count? I don't think it does, because here's the... It does! Okay. So we got a hat. We got, we got something. This is beaded. Is beaded ornate? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Ornate. Um, I really need to, like, store these gems to have room for this. Uh, <laughs> this is gonna look like an outfit. That's for sure. Um, I need to actually start making use of our gems, because we've got so many. Okay. Oops. Why did I do that? I need this um I mean armor is can be pretty ornate but I guess I guess not there's literally one pair of shoes there is one pair of shoes and I do not have them uh, we have, we have a shirt. Um. Uh. 
I could look at the dresses, because that would also... Does the festive dress count? <coughs> no. Bummer. Um... Okay, King's Beard. That gives us three ornates. Um, let's let's uh, let's get this stuff on. So we got this, this, this. <laughs> we are making a look. This this is how fashion happens. Trust me, this is fashion. Gracie is going to be so impressed with us. Um. Yeah, this isn't in the list here. No. What are, what are these? Um. There are two bottoms. Oh no. This is one of them. Okay, so it's literally just the shoes and stockings I can't do. Because I'm pretty sure I don't have... Wait, no, I might... I think I sold them. If I do have them... They'll be in here somewhere. I don't know why I'm checking the shoes. I I know I don't have the shoes. I seem to remember at some point... Nah, I must have sold them. At some point, I'm pretty sure I had rainbow stockings. Because these are... Black tights. Which are not ornate. We need leopard... Uh, not leopard pumps. Those are the only shoes I'm seeing here. Um, we need fishnet tights, rainbow tights, or red tights. You know, I'm going to keep them on anyway. And, okay, the loafers... The loafers, I can see not working. But you know what I can see? This is this is my fashion sense coming in here. Um, I need the B tab. Ah, oh, the hero's boots. The armored shoes. Yeah, cause that see they they pop. Like they got a real like fancy feel to them. Gracie is not going to agree, but look at us. Does this not scream ornate? Like, come on now. I'm, I, I look positively royal. Like, come on. I don't know how many, you know, I, I'm gonna... S I'm gonna see, because this page probably says how many pieces you need to match to succeed. There are so few things for ornate. Jesus. Everything else has so many. Um, most of the items on your outfit have to match. Okay, it can't include... Flashing. Okay, there's... There's a thing here. Okay. So... Ornate, I don't think, fails with anything. I'm not seeing anything clashing with ornate. Probably because there is so little ornate. Okay. 
Ready for your fashion check, darling? I'm ready. Don't you sound confident. Well, I happen to have a spare moment, so let's get started. It's time for Gracie's fashion check. Absolutely ornate. You had one thing to do, dress accordingly to a theme. Let's see if you managed to pull it off. First, we must step back and view the outfit as a whole. Does it meet my exorbitantly high standards? There's no focal point, that much is obvious, but at least I can see that you stuck to the theme. I suppose you did your best, honey, and for that, I'll be kind enough to let you pass today. To congratulate you on your fair to middling fashion choices, here is the Caterpillar Tank. I designed it myself, so you better wear it. Don't make me regret giving it to you. Phew, it's good to know there's at least one person in this town who isn't a complete fashion frump. But it's painfully obvious my work here isn't done. At least I'm off to a good start. And now I must be off, but I'll be back again for yet another fashion check. So always dress to impress. I don't want to see you in rags next time we run into each other. If you get my drift, ciao, honey. Well, we passed. This is ornate. I mean, it's literally the absolute best we could do. Guy, <laughs> Gracie, please. Next time, give me a thing I can do. I probably could have actually managed to make an outfit out of literally any other category. But now that Gracie has started showing up, we are going to be buying all of the clothes. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna keep this... Tra I mean, beautiful outfit on. It's not a travesty at all. Why would you think that? I mean, let's be real. I could see someone walking down a fashion show walkway wearing this outfit. Because that's just how fashion shows seem to be. It's really weird. I will have a coffee today. Thank you, Brewster. I'd like my usual. I need to do working for Brewster at some point. Like, we have the ability to do it. We've had the ability for a while now. I've just not done it. Uh, yeah. S today was something special, that's for sure. So, yeah, our d I was planning on doing another island trip today, but given most of our day has been taken up by Gracie and her fashion check and me trying to get an outfit together... <laughs> Which I don't even know how much I actually talked throughout that. I apologize if that was like 90% silence as I just looked through stuff. Am I seriously not going to be able to find the other fossil today though? I am not seeing it. And I've been basically everywhere. I mean, I'm seeing Mott, though I don't I want to talk to him. I'm not the base phantom bot. I wish it was him moving away. If it was him, I'd be like, "Bye! I'll pack your bags for you." Oh, there he, there he is. Uh, yeah, I am not seeing the fossil. You know what? Let's let's talk with Mott. I don't trust the way he's moving around. Steven, used to going strong. Too much cherry cola, queen? So what's up, bro? Watch out. Want some new furniture now? Anything will do. If you have any kind of anything, let me know. Okay. She just immediately wants stuff from us. That's great. 
That's very, it's very kind of you, Mott, to immediately just want my stuff. It's, it's very kind. Also, I need to buy a lot more shoes. I, I'll be honest, I kind of forgot that the fashion checks existed. I remember Gracie existing. I just didn't remember the fashion checks existing. And I'm just giving up on the fossil again. It's not like we overly need the money today, so... I'm actually gonna take all of our money and put it in the bank. And then I'll just have... the money we get from the fossils and the, uh, the gemstone. As our spending money. I... I cannot get over this outfit. This outfit is not helping me find stuff, that's for sure. And I need to go sell things before I can go to TIY, so... Well, let's, uh... Let's get to retail. I might actually just buy the shirt from retail. Because we're gonna need it. So, well, we may not need specifically it. Also, I was going to put stuff, my money away first, but it's fine. No, I need to keep the shirt. I know how much I'll put away, though. Also, yesterday, I wanted to have the end card bit happen where it should. But for whatever reason, I can't put it at a custom location in the video, even though that's a thing YouTube allows. They just... I couldn't move it, so it's just over the end when Sky randomly showed up. Also, if you didn't see that yesterday, Sky randomly showed up as I was just giving myself time for the uh, the end screen. So you know that happened. I I don't get it, but you know the, it definitely happened. I mean, I know animals can just randomly show up. That's why I should probably just do, like, a freeze frame at the end. But, like, I like having the, the, the motion still. Just be glad I'm not going full, like, zoomer video. And, like, having, like, best of Family Guy season 69 playing in the corner while... There's Play-Doh being cut in the other corner while Animal Crossing is smaller than both of them, but supposed to be the subject. Because apparently that's what you have to do to keep people's attention these days. So Fortune Inside, let's see. See, much red in your future. Much red indeed. Is it going to be a crazy red figure? I got a lucky ticket. It doesn't sound very lucky. It honestly also sounds like the, the fortune is threatening me, and I was pressing A, and it just was not. Let's see here, number 40. Congratulations. It's a virtual boy. Ah, that makes sense. Hot take? I liked the virtual boy as a kid. We had one. It was pretty neat. The, uh, the tennis game on it was a lot of fun. Like, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the guy to say I don't know why the Virtual Boy gets so much hate. Because it was a pretty solid system. It was a gimmick, yeah. And there was not a lot of games that would work in that system. But like, it was awesome. I liked it, at least. 
I think I'm the only one of any of my siblings that liked it, but... And I could never convince any of my friends to try it. But, like, I love playing that tennis game. Now, I will admit, maybe my opinions of it are slightly skewed, because that was, like... We had one TV for playing games on, and, you know, my earliest memories, I can remember having the N64 and an SNES, but they were both hooked up to the same TV. So if someone was playing it, you couldn't play the other system, because they're both hooked up to the same TV. The Virtual Boy didn't need to be hooked up to a TV. <laughs> I could just take that, set it on a table somewhere, and play it, or just set it on the floor and lay down and play it. I have the sapling. What was the... Alright, yeah, that's the virtual boy. It's like, what's the furniture I have? It's... It's the virtual boy. But you know what? I'm gonna put it on the table. They actually do a little bit of redecorating when I get back home. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna give Ma anything. I honestly... I don't remember what his house even looks like, and we've ruined Kurlos's enough. Though, let's be fair, Kurlos did a lot of that ruining himself. Kurlos is just as much to blame as we are. Uh... Yeah, I want to take this. And I'm going to put it over here, because it makes sense to be in front of the TV. Bam. Okay. Now. I'm going to move this for a moment. I could have just walked up to the top, but... I'm going to put the Virtual Boy here. Oh, I, re I remember that controller. That controller was so nice. Like, I kind of loved it. And, um... I think I want the Dalmatian here. Yeah. And then I put... The Dush Hound here. Yeah! Oh, that's cute! Can you, like, do anything with the... I don't think I can interact with it from the... I don't think you can do anything with the Virtual Boy. Ah, But, like, that controller... It was, like, perfectly shaped for me to hold it comfortably as a kid. And as I got older, it was big enough that I could still comfortably hold it. Like, I know for a lot of people, like, um, holding an NES controller isn't bad. Holding a Wii remote sideways so it's an NES controller isn't bad. I've got big hands. That is not comfortable. Holding an Xbox 360 controller, which is a chunky controller. My fingers overlap on the back of the controller by about half of the, my fingers. If I'm holding the controller comfortably. Like, it, it's... I got big hands. Like, the handles on this thing, like... My pinky reaches my palm easily. My ring finger reaches my palm. Like, I can reach around the controller. Okay, we gotta put this, this song in our radio before I forget. I almost forgot to. K.K. Coral, I believe that would be. This sounds like the kind of music you would hear in an Age of Sail type game. While you're in, like, the British capital city. <laughs> like... 
<laughs> I know that sounds super specific, but it's also really accurate. <laughs> you know what, I'm gonna leave it playing. Now, the, the one thing I need to do with the outfit is I need to take the festival accessory off. I am not joking with that whole thing. I don't like it. <laughs> um, let's put our cap back on. Yeah, you know, let's put let's just put our entire old outfit back on. Like this one's funny, and the fact that this passed the fashion check is amusing to me. I actually wonder if there's any part of my outfit normally that would just auto-fail me a fashion check. <laughs> because that is possible, so... If you could, like, do the fashion check multiple times, I would approach her wearing, like, um the full Samus outfit and just be like, hey, what do you think of this for ornate? But yeah, that's gonna be it for today. I thank you all very much for watching and hopefully I shall see you back here tomorrow for more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Welcome, Amiibo! See you all then!